Okay, guys, we're going to have a little look at EuroCAD this morning. And why? Well, why not? We'll draw the intro. Tell you all about it. Matron, take them away. And a warm welcome to one and all. If it's your first time here, if that's rough, I'm trying to put trading in the real world. Maybe show you a trick or two along the way. So why the EuroCAD? Well, I did a news video earlier on this morning and it came up on my strength sheet. I'll show you that in just a second. And I've also broke it down and put my head on the block for the guys in the squad. Now, why do I do that? That's about being accountable for what you do it's very easy to say i did this after the event it's a little bit harder to do it before the event and that's kind of my point of difference and everything you see just you take it with a pinch of salt because it doesn't matter what i do and achieve the only metric that ever matters is your own you know so always gauge yourself you know and just look at these for inspiration. That's that's the general gist of it. Now, if I flick this over, and we see, and I pull up the Discord, uh, the guys are waking up uh, as we speak. In the news announcement, there you are. Um, inside of that is what the current news of the day is, and the strength sheet. Now, the strength sheet comes from here so you have it here and it's got CAD euro on there so it's identified the pair I'll pull this up bigger in a second now I've also done a video underneath of how I'm going to trade this and why I'm going to trade this but also in the scruffy bias just if they miss it and they don't want to watch the video they can have a quick snapshot and down here it's again it's showing them this is at 7 30 in the morning and it's currently 10 past 8 so they've got plenty of time to look at this it's telling them it's a b trade and it's a sell the low time frames are neutral so you've got to wait a little bit and the main chart to watch is a four hour and you're aiming for eight pips minimum minimum target okay so that's what that means but let me just um well, we'll get rid of that and I'll pull up the sheet a little bit in greater detail so you can have a look at it. Okay. What this represents is the strongest and weakest currencies. Now, if you can't make these yourself, um, there's plenty of websites can do it. Investing.com, Finviz, that sort of thing. However, I prefer to do it myself and I make this for the guys every day. None of the majors are in play today. And the CAD is sitting at the top it hasn't changed its position and the euro is still at the bottom hasn't changed position but the strengths have the cad's losing ground the euro is gaining ever so slightly so this cell might explain why that's neutral a little bit of a, a trade-off however it is still dominant to the downside at this moment in time and we're looking at a four hour chart and it actually works out what the minimum target is now the minimum target is based on waves these sort of things now if you're looking just to get um a wave and you sort of just measure this out for argument's sake that wave is 56 and the way you work these out is you divide them by three now and it's all done by ATR, so if it's 56 divided by 3, there's 18. You'll safely get your 8 pips. Now, it actually says, if I just pull this back up, MT plus. What that means is it's minimum target beyond. So the 8 will fit safely inside the wave. And you're looking for as much as you can get so 18 could be a good target it's just a way of working things out 
I'll, I'll kind of explain this while we've got a minute or two. If you take a daily ATR and divide that by three, that'll give you a rough idea of what the wave is. And then if you divide that wave by three again, it'll give you um, a minimum target. And they're not anything more than a baseline. So you know, if you go into market, in order for this trade to be viable, you want at least eight, eight pips out of it. So if you've got a gap of eight pips from one point to the next point, then that's okay. All right. So that's what it's for. It's just to give you a bit of a guide rather than just sort of putting your finger in the air. And then you work out sort of your return on investment, etc. So why are we selling this? Because we, we're not quite ready to go to market. If you come back out to the daily, you'll see there's a huge drive and it's been on a merry old sell. But it looks like it's going to rattle the baselines of these here. Now, if it's pushing through, it'll try and get down into this, which happens to be a plateau, which is there. Now, the chart it told me to watch is this one. And again, look at this. It's dropping down tremendously. So, what can we do with this? Well, you just watch it. And if it is going to push and surge, how much strength has it got left in it? Because we've had a super drive here this candle and then it's pushed down and then it's pushing again now the thing with the markets is you can look at it and think oh no it's run out of energy it's got nothing left the market will be unpredictable longer than your solvent so until it tells you otherwise you go with what it says it's doing and it's all red to so sell it it's that simple take it into the hourly so that we can have a little look at see what's going on there's the last push up it's come down and it's broke underneath what we're looking for here is to see how far this can feasibly go down so if i just put a fib on just so we can have a look we're at a crucial turning point as we speak which is here and it actually stopped on that to the pip which is there and then if it's going to push down it's going to push into this measure this out got 20 pips i'll easily get my eight pips and i'm willing to stage it all the way back up to here it's coming onto this now so it's getting ready to to pop so just drop that under there yeah so we'll drop an order onto there. Just drop, a, drop an order on. 15 pips. And we'll have a, or at least we will do, if I actually remember to switch on the bloody computer. <laughs> switch my other screen on, guys. It's better. That's it. Okay. So we'll just drop an order onto there. Just like so. So it's the break of that. Run it into here. Now there is not a lot of steam in this. So we'll just uh, we'll put it about there. All right. Let me explain why I've set that back from here slightly. It's very simple. It's the spread. The spread on this at the moment is 2.5. So it's not too bad. It's not great. It's not terrible either. Drop it into five minutes so that I can just see if I can time this up. And we can also look at um, candle count. One, two, three, four, five. There's the plateau. It's a good place to buy or, or sell rather or do business, whatever you want to call it um it's ready to go so into there get it down into here everybody's happy so what i'll do is i'll just run the trade and i'll come back to you at the end
okay guys that uh, trade's now complete it's done pretty much what i was after which was to go from that blue line to that blue line with a minimum point in the middle where i could draw some profits so if i look at it just make certain i've closed all my tickets off i have there we go all right it's not the best trade in the world but it only had a small target it was targeting eight pips so if you pull this down you see minimum of eight pips so it did what it wanted to do you know we got more than eight wanted it to run got the money out could have held it to there just pulled 50 quid and be done with it but if you can get a runner and it just keeps on going and going and going that's where your bonuses come from so what's the moral of the story planning Plan your trade and just follow it through and don't pay any attention to the money. If you're chasing money, you've already failed. What you need is a process and the money is the byproduct of that process. I'm happy with 50 quid. Live with that. It's been what? A couple of hours work, 25 quid an hour. That'll do. It's all right. And I'll just do it all again tomorrow. Uh, well, I won't actually. I'm having a an easy week this week because we're going on holiday, aren't we, Manella? We are, yeah. We are indeed. We are off. So, goody gumdrops. Stroll on that ship. So, as always, guys, trade well, keep your risk managed, but above all, do what you love, and the money will follow. See you all in the next one. <laughs>